But check it out, man. It's your boy Akon. You know it's that official convict. And you can check me out on my official site, www.myspace.com slash Akon. All right? Don't forget, MySpace, the official site for quality hip-hop. Chip. I first heard about MySpace, it was pretty much in the wind. Um, I didn't know what MySpace was for a long time. Like, I just recently became a MySpace user about less than a year ago, really. Um, well, I definitely do check my MySpace sites. I answer a lot of questions. Um, of course, I got a team that also does it for me as well because there's no way that I'm going to sit here and answer millions and millions of questions in one day. So we do try to get through as many as possible. A lot of times, I'm, majority of times, I'm normally you know, answering myself. It's just that by the time you respond, it starts all the way to the back. So you may not get a reply right away. You might catch another two days before I respond to the question that I just answered to. Uh, well, when we first put out the record, I had a great confidence that I would probably outsell a lot of acts that I came out with at the same time. Only because I always felt like my albums were always longevity sellers. Like, I never really believed in the first week sales. You know, you, I mean, prime example, my first album, Trouble, only sold 17,000 the first week. I ended up selling four and a half to five million records at the end of the day. So even at the time I was released around the same accident, I ended up outselling them. So this album, I feel like we'll definitely do pretty much the same thing. Um, Brick and Lace, wow, that's one of my first groups that I got signed to my new label, Con Live Distribution. Um, we actually just we just released their single out last week to radio, which is doing pretty good right now. Um, I met them actually through Jimmy Iovine. You know, Jimmy had signed them previously through his Interscope and Geffen situation, and I was doing production with him. So when I, you know, as he was working, I kind of fell in love with him. I just felt like there was something that needed to be a part of my situation. Man, working with Gwen, it was incredible. Um, it was one of them situations where I was blessed to be in the same studio with her. Cause I, I mean, I, me growing up listening to all kind of music, even back when she was down with No Doubt, I always was like, man, they I get to work with her, that'd be the shit. Um, but I finally got that chance, you know what I'm saying? So we pretty much got in the studio and we just created magic in there. You know, we collab like the chemistry in there was just incredible. We just clicked instantly and came up with a smash. Um, it's a lot of future collabs you need to be on the lookout for. Um, but I probably would just let them come because that's the element of surprise. Like, I like to just let it pop up at you one day. You just listen, like, oh, Smack, you did a record with him? Oh, Smack, you did a record with her too? Uh, beside myself, I would definitely say that Timberland is definitely one of the hottest producers that I definitely think is um, going to be around for a long time. Um, Scott Storch is definitely one of the most incredible producers I've seen in a long time who just goes in any direction. And, um, I just came back from home, you know, I was in Senegal, just, just came back. I think my African community is the key to my success, you know. Um, they pretty much supported me from the beginning. The pride in them just won't let nobody not know who I am or what I can create. So I think the energy of all my African people definitely helped to push my name out there a lot more. I mean, if you're spending time in a correctional facility, um, I know my, 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 my whole career, like my whole vision of what I was definitely thinking about came when I was in a very difficult time. You know, I was incarcerated at the time, I was even thinking a lot of this stuff up. But what the good part about it was, had not been incarcerated, the thoughts wouldn't even came because I would have been so overwhelmed with other things to do, other new ways of trying to hustle that I wouldn't even be thinking about a successful, legitimate way, you know, means of getting money. So I would definitely look at that as more of a blessing because I took that time to really focus on my future as far as what it is I wanted to do. One of the main songs that I was definitely surprised at how much love it got on radio was Mr. Lonely. Um, when I put out that record, I was definitely expecting that record to be more of a, just a big pop record. You know, um, but it seemed like every radio station gravitated to it, like to a point where I got tired of hearing it. <laughs> you know, um, it was definitely huge. And then Don't Matter is another record that I de didn't think that urban radio would gravitate to right off the bat. But they definitely jumped on that record just as fast as the pop radio, you know, radio stations did. So those two records definitely was the two records I definitely was excited about and was surprised about how, you know, the support system came from radio swing. Uh, my favorite experience this far was definitely the inauguration that I just left. Um, me being a, a recording artist and being one of the leading spokesmen for Senegal, I feel like it was a proud moment for me to be invited by the president of Senegal, Mr. Abdoulaye Wade, to come through and celebrate with him for being for his re-election in Senegal. So, to me, that was like one of the proudest moments because I actually got to sit in the same podium with 35 different presidents around the world. I don't know 
if people know how important that is to be in the center of the most powerful people of all of Africa and they look at you like you know you're as equal as they are and that's huge to me because when I first started my foundation confidence foundation it was more so to build the confidence of the children you know so they can be able to come up with new ideas innovative ways to you know expand and, and develop the country as they grow so when I'm in a position like that where my confidence was raised to a point where now I feel like can't nothing stop me like that was the prime example of why we do what we do so we can uplift each other and make sure that everybody feels the significance that they have personally to be able to make a contribution to, to making a bigger country you know what I'm saying so it was definitely one of the most proudest moments I've ever had my career. Yeah, check it out, man. It's your boy Akon. That's right. It's that convict signing out. I want to thank all y'all for checking in the blog check right here on www.myspace.com slash hip hop. Cheese.